We're at Lithogarhira Beach on Santa Isabel Island in the Solomon Islands. And uh, we're uh, putting satellite link transmitters on leatherback turtles to understand uh, something about their internecine behavior. Uh, particularly, we're all looking, uh, using these animals to find other nesting beaches in the uh, archipelago. This animal here, we were going to put a transmitter on her, but uh, she started reacting a little bit before we got finished, and we didn't want to interrupt her egg laying. So we decided to forego the transmitter attachment in this particular case and let her finish egg laying. However, we did get some uh, skin sample for DNA analysis and, and performed the other uh, typical uh, uh, data gathering um, that goes on on leatherback beaches like carapace lengths and widths. So this animal right now is just disguising or covering her eggs and disguising the nest. Um, and we'll just watch her for a little while longer as she finishes this and uh, heads back to the sea. It's really interesting because it uh, seems like all the turtles we've measured here have been big ones out here in Lithogahira. And the Sasakola, they, they seem to be slightly smaller, relatively. I mean, they're still fairly large, but be interesting to look at that, that data and to compare the sizes and the, and the distribution. Yeah. Yeah. Was that uh, and, and you noticed that last time a few years ago when you did the last measurements? Yes, uh, when we did the survey in 2000, um, most of the turtles that we tagged on Sakola, like 160 and 150, pretty small animals, and compared to this one, this one is mm -hmm. the largest I've seen. Yeah, 180s, yeah. We might be dealing with like two different tribes. As normally, the leatherbacks on beaches this close, you'd see more interchange with nesters here, nesting in Sasakolo. But the fact that, um, you know, when we were in, in Sasakolo last week, pretty much all the turtles that, that we were seeing there, ones you'd already tagged, and Ernest had already tagged, and so they're, they're pretty much. Uh, you know, we're counting the second, third, fourth nest of the season. We're not getting a lot of, uh, you know, untagged turtles coming in and laying one nest and, and then disappearing. So uh, I, I, I think it's, it's real interesting. That's unusual for beaches this close. The telemetry and the genetics and even just, the, just taking the morphometrics, the measurements, it's all good information. I mean, how old would an animal like, I mean, this size would be? That's another interesting question. Are, are they bigger because they are surviving more and so these are older? It's an older population. You're not getting the, the um, you know, that mortality early on. Or is it that these ones, uh, you know, like Scott mentioned the other night, are they going somewhere? Are they feeding somewhere and, and just growing bigger, faster? That would be strange if this population on this beach was going somewhere different than the ones on a neighboring beach.